So I'm at the queue for the bar when I'm approached by some dude who says, I hear you're a poet. I smile. He continues, what do you write about? Your boobs. This is for boobs. Big, small and in between. Double A to triple Z. Boobs. A part of the body. This is for the car horn honkers. The girls are out, would you look at those? And for the moans. I go on, would you not show us some skin? And for hearing both of those while wearing the same clothes. This is for the questions. What size are they? Can I touch them? Did you have an operation? Do you want an operation? I reel off well-worn replies. 30G, we'll see. No, no, until, do you like them? And honestly, I don't know. This is for the accusations of pushing them out because my posture is straight. I used to hunch once, but it made my back ache. I'm told, put them away and think, where should they go? They live on my chest, right under my nose. This is for all the types of clothes that I've learned to write off on sight that look great in theory, but fail hard in practice. Smocks and anything backless or strapless designed for divine models who happen to be rackless. On these... Too big, looks bulky, but too tight, I'm told, is body. It's such a stress to dress this part of my body. This is for pennies, Braz. I lament your loss in my life. Wonderfully affordable, but sadly not procurable in my size. This is for my sports bra. You, the real MVP, holding on tight through 26 miles of Dublin Marathon, hugging me. Ach, a yowl! This is for the ludramon who designed the female human, ready to run, but accessories not included. This is for the day my coworker told me that my boobs looked very big in my polar neck. And for me, five minutes later in the women's toilet mirror, having a check, more so at the unintentional flaunting of my upper deck with designs to buy a bigger jumper at lunch. This is for me not buying one. And ever since, for the ready-made reply added to my repertoire, used when I'm accused of having boobs that look very big. Yeah, they look very big because they are. This is for those with big boobs. I'm sorry for the judgment and the untrue view that the larger your cup size, the less your IQ. I'm sorry that you're treated as though your boobs can be unscrewed and left at the door with your shoes when it suits. This is for those with small boobs who say they envy me. I envy you. Isn't that a good lesson in how envy works? And it must save time when you get out of the shower to not have to dry under your boobs. This is for the stranger who grabbed my bo No, this is for the multiple strangers who grabbed... No, this is for the multiple strangers and friends of friends and good lads and legends who grab my boobs without warning or excuse on the street, on the bus, at the party, in places you might make the mistake of feeling safe. Sorry for not being any crack, like you said, and not responding in whatever way you wanted. I suppose I was frozen. Then just a moment afterwards, a choir of voices sang that you're not a bad guy. You were drunk, high, having a bad night. It was not your fault. But you should know that by law, that's called sexual assault. This is for my Insta followers. I wish I had a euro for every time one of you responded to my story complimenting my boobs. Flattery may be the food of fools, but I happily gobble up compliments when it comes from you, decent humans who understand that my boobs don't belong to you. My boobs exist even when you're not looking. My boobs, squishy, bra-free under pyjama top. My boobs in sunlight bloom as I read alone on a rooftop. My boobs, in the steamy safety of the shower, door locked, when I'm all bubble and suds, under no one's gaze but my own. <laughs>